Hey girls, so it's your girl April and today's video is going to be a really cheap, inexpensive drugstore makeup look. So basically all the products that I've used on my face and eyes are from the drugstore. Um, I do have two splurge items too, which are my foundations from Too Faced as well as my facial primer from Too Faced. I'm also going to be featuring the 9C Contour Palette by Morphe, which is also still really inexpensive. You can pick this up for $14 on their website. So this is also a really cheap item. As well as that, I will post all the information for you girls below of where and what I've used on my face. As well, I am featuring this unit here, which is a synthetic lace front. And this is by Free Trust Equal. And this is the Keytron unit, which I already did a tutorial on. And I will place that link below so you girls can check it out. But this is available at sisterwigs.com. And the color that I'm wearing is the OP430, which is absolutely beautiful. For a synthetic unit, it does blend very well with color. So yes, two thumbs up for that because I'm really feeling this wig by far. So yes, you girls, I will list all the products that I've used in this video. And I hope you stay tuned and make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up and like it and share it with your friends. And as always, stay Devo and Devolicious and I'll see you in my next video. Hey ladies, so it's time for another inexpensive makeup tutorial. So I'm going to first start off filling in my brows with the Rimmel London The Brow Kit. And this stuff is really great, especially if you want to just use a powder formula. I've already went ahead and used my usual Anastasia, but to fill them in and make them look a little more natural, I'm going to use the Rimmel London Brow this way. And you can pick this up, of course, at your drugstore. And I was listening to some music, just focusing on my makeup and having a good time. So you want to brush that in and kind of like fade it in the front. Don't fade it too much, but brush it in. A lot of people like to use just the brow formula. This stuff is really awesome, especially if you have thin brows or you just want a little more definition to those brows. Now to set my eyeshadow, I'm first going to start using the Milani Eyeshadow Primer, which is another awesome product that you can pick up at any drugstore. You just want to pat that on and allow it to dry for like a minute or two. And on top of that, I'm going to be using one of my favorite concealers, which is Maybelline New York, and this is the Master Conceal in the color medium. Now this concealer, believe it or not, is really, really good. I like to use the medium color along with the light. I'm just going to take my Real Techniques Beauty Blender sponge, which I rave about, and blend that in. And then apply my Milani eyeshadow, which is Bella Ivory. Now, I haven't really used these eyeshadows, and I got them when they first came out. I was sent, to, um, sent them. So this is kind of like the third time for me using them. I'm just going to use that Bella Ivory as my brow highlight color. And just to have a precise line, I'm going to apply some scotch tape. The first thing I'm going to do is fold the end so that way it's easy to remove. And now for my transition color, I'm going to be using the Milani Bella Cappuccino color. And I'm just going to take my Morphe brush. And I do like this brush. I can't really remember the number offhand. But it did shed a little bit um, when I first started using it, but it's really a great brush. And I'll make sure to list the brush below. They do have some really inexpensive makeup brushes, and so far so good. I do like their makeup brushes along with their palettes. Now for some more color, I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Natural Bronzer in Sun Bronze. And of course, you can use any type of facial powder for your eyelids. It's all makeup, and it all comes out the same. And as you can see, this is a great transition color. And on top of that, I'm going to also use my L'Oreal True Match Facial Powder in the color Cocoa, just for a little more depth and definition to my crease area. Now I'm just going to blend that into my crease area and just use whatever product is left on the brush and blend it upwards and kind of like windshield wiper motion. Now for my bottom colors to pop, I'm going to apply my Milk Pencil by NYX. I'm going to smooth that out with a Sonia Kashuk brush, which you can get from Target. And I'm going to apply that all on the bottom portion of my lips. 
dipping into this beautiful purple by Milani. I'm going to use that to cover the entire bottom portion of my lower lids. And this is also another Sonia Kashuk brush. Um, unfortunately, this collection is not out, but they do carry these on eBay. They're the exact same, except for there is no Sonia Kashuk name on and for a little bit more color to my crease, I'm just going to take that L'Oreal True Match and just spread that over a little bit more into the crease area. And now going on to this Milani Fierce Foil Eyeshine. This is in the color um, collection Rome, and I really do like this stuff. But I like to apply it with my fingers. It's a lot easier because it's kind of like a creamy base but it does give a little shine and sparkle. And as you can see, the color is a little bit more intense. I'm just going to spruce up my crease a little bit more and blend that creamy eyeshadow in. And now onto one of these great liquid eyeliner pens or markers. This is also by Milani and this is their Eye Technique Extreme. And I'm going to do a winged out look with this. And I decided to use this one because it glides over really easy over that cream eyeliner and also because this is a drugstore makeup tutorial. Now for my lashes, I do wear individual lashes and I'm going to use the Super Curler 24 Hour Mascara which is also by Rimmel London. And these lashes will stay on for like sometimes two weeks, a couple may fall out and I'll just reapply some of them. But I do like the individuals because it just makes everyday makeup a lot easier. I don't have to go and glue on any strip lashes though I do like the strip lashes. Now for my splurge item, I'm using my Too Faced Primed and Poreless Facial Primer. This stuff is so great for oily skin. I love it. Like, my makeup will stay on all day. And one of my favorite, all-time favorite foundations is the Born This Way Foundation in Color Honey by Too Faced as well. I'm just going to buff that into my face. Now for my highlight, I'm going to be using that same concealer by Maybelline New York in the color medium. And I'm also going to use that same Beauty Blender sponge by Real Technique. And this is a great color for highlighting, especially if you're like a fair complexion. I'm just going to highlight underneath my eyes with this. As well as I did do my chin and my nose bridge. And I'm going to go into that Morphe contour palette and I'm going to set my makeup with that same sponge or just set the highlighted portions of my makeup. Now onto the Rimmel London's Kate Sculpting Palette in the color Coral Glow. I'm going to take the contour color and I'm going to use my Sedona Lace Huge Jumbo Fan Brush. This brush is excellent for contouring. I love it. It just gives the perfect contour you can chisel out some cheekbones to perfection as well as your hairline. And just for a little more color, I'm going to use the Rimmel London Natural Bronze once again and this time on my face. Because I love the color, it's very warm and I more or less like warm tones for contouring with. I'm also going to contour my nose with the Rimmel um, Natural Bronzer as well. I'm 
time now to dust off that excess facial powder from the Morphe Contour Palette. I'm going to go ahead and align my waterline with the Jumbo Pencil by NYX in the color Milk just to let those colors brighten. I'm going to go into Milani's eyeshadow in the color Bella Black. I'm just going to use this as a eyeliner for the bottom portion. And I'm going to take a pencil brush and smoke that out. It isn't as black as I wanted it to be. I could have went in more, but I was kind of in a hurry and kind of scared. And just for the inner tear ducts, I'm going to use that Bella Ivory by Milani as well. Now for some lower lash definition, I'm going back into the Rimmel London Super Curler 24 Hour Mascara. And I'm going to use my next splurge item. It was really three, I do apologize, and that's the Too Faced Extreme Lip Injection. And I'm going to also use my Milani Multitask Facial Powder in the color Medium Tan. I love that lip injection stuff because, ooh, girls, it makes your lips tingle and they get them nice and plump. And I'm going to go ahead and bronze out my face a little bit with the Center Stage Collection, which is in Carnival in Rio by Wet n Wild. I'm just going to take a little bit of that because I want to bring some color back to my face. And now to highlight, I'm going on to that Rimmel London Sculpting Palette. Do you see how highlighted and bright that is? For a drugstore highlighter, it is bomb.com. That's why I'm dancing because I really didn't expect that to be like this. But yes, hunties, very great highlighter. Now onto their blush. I'm going to take another brush, actually. I'm going to use my Sonia Kajic brush. I'm just going to smile and get the apples of my cheeks with that coral color. And also the blush is very pigmented as well. And to set this beat face, I'm going to be using the Skin Denavia, the makeup finishing spray, which I love. This will help your makeup stay on. And for my lips, I'm using Natural Cream by LA Girls Lip Liner. And I'm also going to be using the J Matte Lipstick. I found this at the beauty supply store for $1.99. It's a very pretty color. It doesn't dry your lips out. And on top of that, I'm using Nude Cream by Milani as well. I wanted to do like a nude lip because the eyes were so intense. And now onto the hair, my dears. I'm going to also be putting on my synthetic lace front by Fritress Equal, which is called Kitron. I do have a video on YouTube for this, and I absolutely love this unit. She is really pretty. She is a lot of hair, if you are wondering. So I do kind of pin it back a little bit just to get some of that hair out of my face because it is a lot of hair. But the colors blend so well, and it's in the color OP30. OP430, excuse me. I'm just going to take some of my natural hair out, and I'm going to use my Hair Filler Fibers by Strand Maxer. I have moved on to Strand Maxer. I used to use Topic, and sometimes I will still use it, but Strand Maximizer is a little bit more better. The, sh the fibers are thicker, so it gives you full coverage, more coverage in less time. But Topic does just as well, so. Now you can see my edges are coming along, and I'm going to conceal my part with the e.l.f. All Over Cover Stick, and this is in the color medium. You can also get this at like drugstores, like you can get them at like Walmart and Target. My earrings are actually from Forever 21, like years ago, and I absolutely love them because they're so festive and they go with the shirt and the hair. And as you see, I did uh, twist my hair back on the side just to get some of it out of my face. And that's about it for the finished look, my dears. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up if you liked it, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye!